Sometimes you have to reshape your data to get it into the right format for analysis. Perhaps your required data is stored across several spreadsheets and you need to combine them together. Or you've collected repeated measurements within a single spreadsheet, but put them in separate columns, and now you find that they need to be in one column to run an analysis. The first problem situation, data held in separate files, can be solved using GenStat's append feature. GenStat can also append data held in different sheets within the same Excel file. If the files are identically structured, using the same column names, you can combine them into a single spreadsheet by placing columns of the same name on top of each other. If the columns have different names, you can still combine files by matching the column positions. Column 1 in the first file is matched to column 1 in the second file, and so on. In the GenStat data folder, which is included in your GenStat installation, there are five Excel files called Grazing 1 to Grazing 5. These contain the live weights of carbs over five different grazing periods. Inside Grazing 1 and Grazing 2, you can see identically named columns, plot, treatment, initial live weight, and final live weight for the grazing period. In the treatment columns, one uses capital letters and the other uses lower case. This won't cause a problem for GenStat, and we can easily fix this inconsistency in data recording after import. To import the Excel files, select Spread, New. This option here is used when all your data are in one Excel file, but the data are stored in different sheets. Our data are stored in separate files, so we need to select Append Multiple Files. To locate the first file, click the button with three dots. If you install GenStat in the default location, you'll find the files in C, Program Files, Gen, Version Number, ED, Data. I'm going to select Other Spreadsheet Files in the drop-down list so that only spreadsheet files are displayed. Select Grazing5.xls and hold down the keyboard shift key. Then click Grazing1.xls to select all of the files we wish to append. Click Open and all of the files will appear in the next window. We know that the columns in each file use the same names, so we'll leave the Name option selected. Click the Help button here if you want to see an explanation of the other options on this window. Click Open. This window will open for every file you want to import. Click Finish to import the first file. The first spreadsheet displays and the import window reopens so we can import the next file. Click Finish, one, two, three, four more times to import and append each file into one spreadsheet. On the left, GenStat has automatically created a new factor column called File that gives the name of the file that each row of data came from. If I scroll down, we can see the data from Grazing 5, Grazing 4, Grazing 3, and so on. Grazing 2 contains those lowercase letters we saw earlier. To fix this, select the Treatment column, then select Edit, Change Case, and select Uppercase so that this column matches the others. Stacking lets you place several columns on top of each other to form a single column of values. This spreadsheet shows the effects of two treatments on the growth of two breeding lines of sheep over time. The breeding lines have been selected for high and low levels of a specific genetic trait. 
As an aside, this column name tag is a units vector column fixed to the left side of a spreadsheet which provides additional identification for the rows. For example, tag might be the actual identifying number on the air tag worn by each sheep. I'm going to stack the eight live weight columns together and create a new column called month that identifies which time period each observation comes from. To open this spreadsheet, select File, Open Example Datasets, type Sheep, and click Open Data. To stack these live weight columns, I'll select Spread, Manipulate, Stack. There are eight columns to stack together, so enter eight. The setting Record Column Source and Factor creates a new factor column that will identify the original column each observation came from. In our example, the weight measurements were taken over a number of months, so I'll enter month for the column name. The Stack Columns list shows which columns you want to stack together. I'll select all eight live weight columns and move them across. The Repeat Columns list lets me select columns from the source file to include in the new spreadsheet. If I don't select anything, then my new spreadsheet will contain only the stacked weights and the month column that I specified before. I'll select the other columns that I want, click inside the Repeat Columns field to give it focus, then click the arrow to move my columns across. The last thing I'm going to do is give my Stacked Weights column a meaningful name. Our new spreadsheet contains the stacked columns, the associated columns from the original spreadsheet, and the new column Month, which identifies the source of each record. Month 1 is from the first stacked column, Month 2 is from the second stacked column, and so on. Because we selected Create Unique Column Names, these column names in the new spreadsheet were made unique by adding 1. Unstacking lets you separate group data into individual columns, with each resulting column containing the observations from one group. I can unstack the live weight column from our previous example using the 8 factor levels in the month column. The end result will be 8 individual live weight columns. I'm just going to close the other spreadsheets and clear our previous data from the server so we're only working with the one spreadsheet. Before we can unstack the columns, we need to convert the tag column to a factor because there are eight observations per animal. The tag factor will be used in statistical analyses to identify the specific animal each observation comes from. Now we can select Spread, Manipulate, Unstack. I'll select Month as the unstacking factor. We can't see our live weight column in the available data field because I've got the mouse cursor inside unstacking factor and this field only accepts factors. When I click inside unstack columns, live weight now appears because the unstack columns field accepts variate data. Select live weight, then click the arrow to move it across. The ID Factors field lets me specify which other columns I want to include in my unstacked spreadsheet. If I don't select anything, then my new spreadsheet will contain only the eight live weight columns. Click ID Factors to give this field focus, then select the remaining columns except month and click the arrow to move them across. If we hadn't converted the tag column to a factor, it wouldn't have been available to be included in this list. Therefore, we wouldn't have been able to include it in our new unstacked spreadsheet. Now I click OK to make the new spreadsheet. So here's our new spreadsheet with the weights separated out into eight columns. You can see that the month column is missing because we have unstacked the live weights data 
so that we have a column for each month. The column headers are labelled Line 2, Treat 2, rather than Line 1 and Treat 1, because GenStack automatically incremented the number to avoid giving these columns the same names. I can convert the tag column back to a unit's vector by right-clicking and first selecting Convert to Variate. Now right-click again, select Convert, then select Units Vector. You can find out more about data preparation and manipulation techniques on the GenStat Knowledge Base.